Hi, I'm Dr. Bose. Let's talk about the COVID vaccine. I've worked as an emergency physician at Medical Center Hospital in Odessa, Texas since 2009. I've served as a city medical director for Odessa Fire Rescue since 2010. The city of Odessa has set up an incident command post. Think of this as a war room where an incredible team to include Odessa Fire Rescue, city of Odessa, and others work around the clock to fight this virus which kills thousands of people nationwide. Here, I serve as an advisor to the incident commander for the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccination. We've been busy vaccinating frontline healthcare workers to include heroic nurses, brave paramedics, and firefighters, as well as vulnerable populations. Teachers, accountants, gas station workers, clergy, and oil field workers will be receiving the COVID-19 vaccine soon as well. In a world of differing viewpoints and agendas, I think it's important to disclose my perspective. I'm a physician. This video has no political agenda. I'm not receiving any compensation for making this video. I serve in the medical director role for Odessa on a voluntary basis. I'm not compensated by the city of Odessa nor am I compensated by any media outlet or any pharmaceutical company. This is important because I'm speaking through the lens of helping care for COVID patients in Odessa. Thankfully, taking a vaccine is a personal choice. Here's my logic for why I took the vaccine and hopefully it helps you in your decision-making. I'll discuss number one, how the vaccine works. Number two, why I'm not worried about the side effects, and number three, why we in Odessa should be the first city in America to be fully vaccinated and achieve herd immunity. Number one, let's talk about how the vaccine works. You've seen what the virus looks like. It's like a tennis ball with spikes coming out of it. The vaccine is aimed at those spikes. The vaccine introduces your body to the spike proteins so that your immune system can create antibodies which are like soldiers against those spike proteins to protect yourself. That way, if the real virus enters your body, your antibodies are ready and recognize the spike proteins and fight. This vaccine is not a live coronavirus being put in your body. Let me repeat, it's not a live virus. It's not even the spike protein being put in your body. This is safe. The vaccine is the mRNA coding for the spike protein being placed in a fatty particle. Your cells absorb that particle and then your own cells machinery makes the spike protein for a fixed amount of time. Then your body's immune system makes those soldier antibodies against the spike proteins. Think of the mRNA vaccine like a copy machine that has the code for the spike protein so that your body can create it and then create antibodies to it. The research behind this vaccine has been going on for decades allowing today's scientists to respond very rapidly. Funding by multiple governments also helps speed up the process. We are so lucky that we live in an era, in this moment in history, when people can get the genetic code for the spike protein quickly to the scientists so they can work around the world, around the clock, to bring the vaccine to us with record speed. I want you to know that no shortcuts were taken. Available today are two vaccines, Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech. For both vaccines, you will need two shots. With Moderna, you'll get the second shot 28 days after the first. Similarly, with the Pfizer vaccine, you'll get the second shot 21 days after the first. Each vaccine has a few day window for that second dose. When you get your first shot, they'll tell you the details. Both vaccines work very similarly. People ask, which one is better? Both are extremely effective. People also ask, if I get Moderna for my first shot, should I get Moderna for my second shot also? Yes, you should get the same shot. Whichever vaccine you receive, it's important that you get both shots. 
with one dose, it's about 60% effective. After getting both doses, it's 95% effective. That's good news. You might be wondering, what's the cost of all this? The vaccine is initially free, thanks to Medical Center Hospital in the city of Odessa. Once this transitions into clinics, there'll be a small charge to get people vaccinated. But either way, it's important to get vaccinated. Number two, some are concerned about the side effects. Initially, there's the pain of the jab. We've all received shots before. It's like any other shot. Maybe bleeding, maybe numbness at the site of injection for a while. Rarely, just like people who receive blood draws, some people pass out after seeing a needle. It's harmless and you recover. Afterward, maybe there'll be tenderness. I had a couple days of shoulder tenderness, slightly more than prior shots. It was really no big deal. I was able to do my job. Once again, like any other shot. You may have a fever, fatigue or headache, maybe some swelling at the site of injection. After the second shot, you may feel more side effects than after the first. We understand these side effects because millions of people have now been vaccinated. It's our turn, Odessa. You may have heard about side effects like Bell's palsy on the news or social media. It's a paralysis of the facial muscles. The vaccine did not cause this. You may have heard about serious allergic reactions in Europe. The vast majority of those people had severe allergic reactions to other things prior in life, which is reassuring. If you have an allergic reaction, we can treat that. The benefits of the vaccine greatly outweigh the risks. What are the risks of COVID? It, it's confusing. Some say COVID is not that bad. Others say it's terrible. With the SARS coronavirus outbreak in 2003, one out of every 10 people infected died. Can you imagine that? With the 1918 flu, one out of every 40 infected people died. That flu was really bad for 20 to 40 year olds, leaving children without parents. Devastating. With COVID-19, we will know when we're done, but it seems like one out of every 200 people infected die. In that way, it seems not that bad. Except it is, because it spreads easier than other viruses. Let's look at the U.S. population of 330 million people. That's a lot of people. If one out of every 200 Americans die, that's well over one and a half million people. One and a half million people dead. That's more than 10 American states. That's the number of people that could die in the USA alone if we just let this virus keep spreading. That's much higher than the flu. By comparison, heart disease, the leading cause of death in the United States, kills 650,000 people a year. Over one and a half million could die from COVID in the United States. And we have a chance to lead the country in changing that. That's why taking this shot is so important. You may think COVID only kills old people. Well, besides wiping out the greatest generation, the mortality in the 20 to 40 year old group could be 200,000 people in the United States. Through my experience in the emergency room, even one single death is so devastating. One death affects so many more people as I see all the family members, loved ones and coworkers of that person suffer. What happens when Odessa runs out of hospital beds? Elective surgeries stop. Having a heart attack? Broken bone? Need gallbladder surgery? We don't want to turn you away, but we may have to. This matters because not only will it impact our public health, it will impact our economy. Will you get up and go to work if a fracture or a poke in your skin can be fatal when the hospitals are full? Even if you don't die from COVID, you may lose your taste and your smell. You might end up needing oxygen, having 
chronic fatigue, permanent muscle weakness, scarred lungs, or blood clots causing strokes and heart attacks. You may not see it, but we see it in the emergency room daily. A few minor side effects of this vaccine are probably good. It means the immune system is revving up. It's so much better than getting COVID. We can beat this, Odessa. We will win this war against COVID. Don't let your guard down. Number three, Odessa can be the first city in America to vaccinate and achieve herd immunity. The reason you and I don't get measles when we walk into a room is because nobody in that room has measles. The herd is immune. Similarly, we can achieve herd immunity for COVID-19. We as a society, as a world, are in a position that we have to take this vaccine to get past this pandemic. This is why I took it, and we all should. Here in Odessa, we were the first to start 911 system for emergency phone calls. We were the first to use the jaws of life. That's the tool to remove trapped patients from their cars after car accidents. The American Heart Association recognized Odessa for having the fastest response times for heart attacks in the United States. This excellence is because of our citizens, the people of Odessa, because of you and your leadership. We can lead America with this vaccine. Go to the City of Odessa website to see locations you can receive the shot as supplies arrive and more clinics begin to vaccinate. Carefully judge the information you consume. If not anything, we should make a West Texas effort to be nice to each other. It leads to a nicer neighbor, a nicer city, state, and nation. Let's start by rolling up our sleeve and taking this vaccine for our family, our loved ones, our community. Let's fight this together. And when I say together, I mean with a mask six feet apart.